so nice. So quiet at the start of the day. And uh, now it's, it's like a little chilly on the toes, but it's totally worth it. I mean, we had so many amazing encounters with these animals that I'm blown away because like they say that some people they come here for weeks and they don't score any of what we have already scored in the last two three days so I'm pretty excited about uh, yeah, about everything like it has been a wild trip so far and we still have a couple of more days to go so uh, like the simulation is epic to us I don't know how it works but uh, for some reason, we just keep getting, keep getting it, and the world just keeps giving. Yeah, it's not far. Yeah, I'm getting the shot, bro. How are you, my love? You getting it? Super good. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's behind there. Yeah, Jenny. Jenny, go! Yeah, Jenny! How was it, Jenny? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. I was with them, they came to me, and I was waiting, waiting to try to be with them. And then I started to swim, and then a little baby or cat was like, Hello, who are you? Check me out, and then go. <laughs> I was on the board. And crying almost. <laughs> it was. And Yana is crying every day. <laughs> I'm crying every day. That's, good, that's, good. <laughs> that's my thing. Oh, no, this is just it's perfect. Yeah. How do you feel it is like compared to uh, all the other trips you've been on? <laughs> how, how, how has these last two days been? We are, like, I think um, when it comes to experiencing wildlife on my trips, this is the best experience I've ever had. Okay, I'm doing. Look some at shot. that! Look at that shot! Oh. I'm doing some photos. Beautiful. <laughs> <It's> unbelievable. <laughs> well, the whales, well, the whales, well, the whales that. <laughs> this week is so crazy. I yeah. cannot even believe it. <laughs> it's like uh, the whole situation is so crazy. But on top of that, just the fact to be with them, or just the, I don't know how to say, the feelings was like so new and so amazing with those whales so every time we go back in the water it's like a new experience and it's uh wow it's like it's like making yourself super quiet and calm and as they are so uh, this is how we uh, i felt the interaction with them it was like uh, <laughs> i mean obviously with these guys we score more than uh we would uh elsewhere and we also be able, we're also able to approach all the whales so much more genuinely. So without coming with motorboats, and you've probably seen some of the shots where these guys are just blasting in, you know. And it's like, like it scares the whales, and it's just, you know, it's just very typical human behavior. It's like we don't respect nature, you know. It's really bad. That's why we like to go in with uh, with the standard paddle board, so we can like approach very delicately and quietly and then we can be like a couple of hundred meters in front and then if they keep swimming towards us great if they avoid us no problem but uh, when the motorboats are coming in and they're just blasting in it's like yeah it's so bad uh, they're going straight to us uh, maybe we can just let it.
so fast together, we scored so hard. Au pair in uh, Northern Norway, every year the whale comes in uh, to, to uh, eat herring. It's awesome, you can dive with the whales, you can get underwater, you can um, have a lot of fun, you can take very very cool pictures, but there's also a lot of people who wants to do the same thing. Every year there's thousands of people coming up here and I think that's very easy to forget. And there's a lot of people earning a lot of money, but mm -hmm. the whales, they aren't really taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. So there, when if you want to come up here to do similar trips, you have to um, to think about that, because in Norway there are no restrictions for um, whale safari operators and free diving operators. There's nobody controlling how close you go, how fast you go around the whales. Mm. Uh, that's your responsibility to make sure that they are res yeah, responsible around the whales and, and treat them nice. And uh, every day we see uh, this is a huge problem now. Uh, every day we see sleeping whales being chased down full speed by um, bad boys. Not not only <laughs> private boats, but also um, companies, companies, yeah. tour operators. Uh, who wants to, do, of course they want to deliver to the customers who's paying, you know, yeah. and that's fair, but um, the whales doesn't have any rights, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in a lot of situations, they're actually unable to uh, relax. Mm. And we're pretty sure that it's causing a lot of stress. It's hard for them to flee as well, because everybody just follows the whales. Mm. So, probably our best advice is go on a sailboat. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do this kind of safari, because the sailboat isn't fast enough to reach after the whales, yeah. So mm -hmm. you're not that much. Hundred percent sure. Yeah. And uh, sailboat and stand up paddle and stand up paddle yeah, yeah. Because those are making such a difference. Like yeah. it's mm -hmm. first very peaceful mm -hmm. to be on. A, it's very nice to be on the boat and on the paddle, and it's two different things. But together, it's the best, like best uh, thing ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, all these bad boys always pop up from nowhere, so it's like <laughs> it's, it's like you're in a place where there is it's no one, so and funny. suddenly uh, at some point, if it's uh, daytime, it's gonna happen. And so they're that. always in black, and black ribs and black uh, suits. It's and like, that's some, yeah, it's that's, like uh, they, they are heavy. Movie. But that was so. So they will come and not respect the the orcas or whales, and that's pretty bad. So um, yeah. that's the guy. You don't want to be one of those guys, and it's easy to end up in one of those companies. So uh, check it out before.